This is our certification testing we get done every year on the mercury barometer. Uh, these are NIST tests and they do three tests on the inch scale and three tests on the millibar scale and as you can see the correction factor that we need to apply to the mercury barometer is plus one thousandth of an inch and of course that gets entered into the computer and gets factored into the final reading which gives us station pressure and sea level pressure. Here's another important part of the calibration certification. The thermometer that's used to measure the temperature of the mercury. As you can see the correction factor we have to use on that is plus 0 0.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's the Prinko mercury barometer. This particular model is a 453 XBI, that's X-Ray Bravo India, XBI that was custom made for the National Weather Service offices. So we'll just pan up and give you a look at it. In order to take an accurate reading with the mercury barometer, you first need to set the mercury level correctly. To do that, you turn the brass screw on the bottom of the unit counterclockwise to lower the mercury level, clockwise to raise the mercury level. You must make these adjustments very slowly. If you do it too fast, you can induce air into the vacuum chamber in the tube. Then you're screwed because you'll have to send it in and get it repaired. Here's a thermometer used to take the temperature of the mercury. There's a Fahrenheit scale on the left and a Celsius scale on the right. And we'll move in for a closer look. Now I want to show you how to adjust the mercury level by turning the brass screw clockwise I will bring the top of the mercury up against the bottom of the white pointer. I'm doing that right now. And eventually you will see the white pointer push into the mercury and create a dimple in the mercury. You can see how much precision goes into setting this instrument. Now you can start to see the dimple forming around the white pointer. So at this point I've gone too far and I want to back it up just until that dimple disappears. Just like that. The next thing I want to show you is the left side of the barometer which has our inches of mercury scale. I'll get a closer look of it here. And on the right side of the barometer, we have the millibar scale. And the final piece of the barometer is the center scale adjustment knob, which is right here. And as you see as I turn this, our scale goes up and down. This next part you also want to be precise at. If not, it will for sure throw your pressure reading off. We want to set the center scale down on top of the column of mercury. So we'll lay it right down on top of the mercury. Just like that. And now we're ready to take our pressure reading. So here's how you read the mercury barometer. We start out on the center scale with our baseline, which is right there, and we read it on the left scale. Here's our 29.0 line, here's our 29.1 line, and 29.2 line. So we're between 29.1 and 29.2. So now how do we get the second digit behind the decimal? Now we start comparing the lines on the center scale with the lines on the left scale. This line here is above this line. This line's above this line. 
this line's above this line, this line's above this line, this line's above that line, this line is also above that line, but right here, this line is below this line. So we know the second digit behind the decimal is a 6. So now how do we get the third digit? Well now you compare the 6 line with the line on the left scale. And you determine how close they are to being a straight line versus these two up here. This is our 7 line. So if you compare these two lines with these two lines, these two up here are closer to forming a straight line. So we know the last digit is going to be between a 6 and 9. Now if you can't make out the difference between these two and these two, because they're spaced apart the same, then it's a 5. If these two lines are closer to forming a straight line, then it's between 1 and 4. However, after reading these barometers for over 20 years, I can tell you that this number is 8. So our pressure is 29.168. And that's what we'll put in the computer. So we need to take our mercury temperature reading and that is 71.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, let's check our station pressure reading. We need to enter in our information from our mercury barometer into the computer. So the pressure from the mercury barometer was 29.168 inches of mercury. The temperature of the mercury was 71.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Our true altitude, 810 feet. And if we scroll down, we'll see our station pressure is 29.31 inches. Now, let's check the sea level pressure down here that says 29.896. So we'll hit our mode button. We need to set our altitude to 810 feet. And I got a ways to go. Whoops, I jumped off of it there. All right, 810 feet. Let me scroll up, scroll up. And our sea level pressure is 29.895. And our barometer was telling us it was 29.896. That's pretty good. Now you're talking a thousandth of an inch difference. Alrighty, so the calibration looks good on this unit.